so much. I am Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet, and today we are talking about slash showing you my experiences staying in a vintage kind of Airstream style trailer. Now, I do have to admit something to you. This footage is actually a year old. I went and stayed in this trailer in January of 2020. Jacob and I did as a way to celebrate my 32nd birthday. We're now approaching 33, but this was taken in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area last year. And we went up there and stayed in this camper and also went to a aquarium. I think it's called Sequest where I got to actually swim with some stingrays and that was just the coolest experience ever. I never got around to editing the footage, but here we are a year later. I am still very much interested in vintage travel trailers and the rest of the world has kind of caught up to me on that. I'm not saying I started it or anything. That's ridiculous. But I've always been very interested in uh, vintage travel trailers and tiny homes specifically as a potential future short-term rental. So I would love to to get one of these, fix it up, and then use it as a Airbnb or like a Verbo as a continuing income source. And also as like a little place where I could stay or Jacob and I could stay or I have friends who stay when they come visit. And I just would really, really love one of these. They've gotten very, very popular over the past year because of the pandemic. Uh, travel trailers and campers are now going for like double and triple what they used to. So now is probably not the best time to buy, but I am still thoroughly obsessed. So check out my experience staying in a camper about a year ago. Once again, this was pre-quarantine and it was a lot of fun. It gave me some experience with an actual travel trailer and made me think about what I would actually like the features to be in one that I own eventually. For instance, the there are two single beds in this one and I would much rather have like one queen or full. I think that would probably be a little bit better for rentals. But this entire property, which you'll get to see, is so cool. There's actually a couple of vintage Airstream-esque trailers. There are some shipping home containers. Really, really cool and I kind of love what these people have. And the vibe that's going on. I will link this actual listing for the place I stayed in down below on Airbnb. Highly recommend. If you like talking about money, personal finance, and wealth building, go ahead and like this video and subscribe because we talk more about that and eventually I'm gonna own one of these things. So you can check it out right now. In my natural state here, but I thought I'd give you a tour of our Airstream camper. Actually, I really love it. Jacob is in the, there is an outhouse shower situation that's actually quite lovely and I'll show you why in a sec. So come again, this place is adorable. Our stuff is already in here, obviously, but I believe this bed folds out and every little nook and cranny of this place is so well thought. Check this out. Magnetic clothes. There's like some eight track tapes and uh, games in there a working radio little eight tracks and there's a player in there too and then some little fans and stuff the outside is super cute as well do real quick so over there is the shower and bathroom it's kind of a bathhouse it is heated it's very nice i'll show you later and all right but cute little things, nice plush little rug, heater, TV, and we used this last night to eat off of. So pardon leftovers from the dinner we brought in, but this place is so cute. I love how well every single little piece of space is taken care of. We were left some snacks and coffee cups and over here. And this is really cool. It's the microwave. Okay. Over on this side, there's a little we were left some water and snacks. Up 
pots and pans. Besides, closet, trash can, toaster. Alright, and then the bedroom. So I made the bed this morning, but as you can see, there are two little walkway. Cutest little bedside bar. And up here, there's spare sheets. And there were spare pillows in here, which we used. Hook. And there are even uh, drawers under here. Check that out. So this is cool too. So Jacob did hit his feet under there last night. This is our blanket. But that's okay. We were left with a sound machine, sleep masks, etc. And then that's where the microwave is. Oops. All right, back to the bathroom. So the reason there's a bathhouse is because there is no hot water in here, but there is a little shower that you could actually fit in. <laughs> and then a little closet. Hang up Jacob's and I's stuff. This is kind of funny. The store is permanently open due to a strong guest. Use accordion door by kitchen for privacy. So you can't shut yourself off in the bathroom. And the toilet is in a very small little nook. That is fine. And over here, there are plenty of towels and hair dryers. And we're even left with some little kabibs and bobs. And once again, like every single little nook and cranny of this place is so well used. How cool that is. And then up here, hi. All of the lights are the actual vintage ones. And then look how clever the medicine cabinet is. Hey, Jacob back. Hey, what's going on here? We're filming. So what did you think of your night in the tiny house? This isn't a tiny house. It's camper. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. How is it compared to the tiny house though? It's preferable to the tiny house for sure. Um, there are a few things that, you know, just aren't quite going to fly long term if I was to live here. Like, I don't know about running to the bathhouse. <laughs> well, I mean, the toilet worked, so in the middle of the night we got to use that and we didn't have to climb any stairs. Yeah, that's true. The I... bed situation, it's okay, it's passable, but it's not It's not perfect. ideal. That's okay, though. I miss snuggling. He's a snuggler. Also, this is a shoes-off house, so they gave us shoe covers or said don't wear shoes and that's fine well you can see they've got i mean the carpet is very soft yeah but they've also got very that's, like white floors kind and of it's thing. obviously new so they don't yeah. want people no it makes sense i like that there was a couch that we could like sit and hang out and eat on and this area feels very big and spacious it doesn't feel as cramped as the tiny house did which is weird because the tiny house was uh more square footage so whoever owns this property also apparently converted some shipping containers that are like right next to us. And they have another old Airstream right there that, yeah, it looks like it's empty and they're renovating it, which is very cool. I wish I had those kind of skills. And the bathhouse is really gorgeous too. to outside. Oh look, the shipping container homes. very nice in that they were just setting these up oh yeah because it's much better than it was do you think we can go up and peek in no i don't think we should i just want to say doing my makeup in this mirror last night was incredible 
incredible. It was like, I saw hairs that I've never seen in my eyebrows before. And it was so easy to like, just make sure I got everything perfect. So one day I need a, a mirror that is like slightly above my head and angled. So the only thing about this bathroom is that the back of the house is kind of I don't know if you can hear it, but it feels like it like shifts and drops a little. So I think it's probably just something you deal with having like an old camper. Everything to like this point feels very sturdy though. Not a deal breaker, just an interesting fact. <laughs> oh, this is a lot more fun than the tiny house. Why? Um, it's laid out a lot better. It's just a lot more cozy and comfortable. It feels a lot more intimate. It's a lot more fun overall. Love that there's a couch. Oh yeah, that's nice. I mean. And yeah, the TV is small, but we're able to just kind of sit here and chill and enjoy it. I really like it. I like that there's a couch that we can both sit on and just kind of hang out. That was the main flaw of the other one, that there was literally no place to sit. And this is like really comfy and it's like a fuzzy blanket with options. Hi, Phil. I'm okay. Do you have enough room? I do. I feel like space is very roomy. Yeah, it utilizes all the yard. Uh, so what did you think of this vintage travel trailer slash Airbnb? I actually really loved it, especially all the little nooks and crannies and how well the place was laid out. And I actually thought that the bathhouse was really, really charming. It doesn't quite come across as pretty as it was on camera, but it was very cozy. It was very vintage. Obviously it had the farmhouse style. I thought it was really nice and it was heated. We, we stayed here in January and we didn't have any problems whatsoever with the cold. It was really, really nice. I wish we had also been able to check out the uh, shipping container rentals as well, but maybe we'll do that soon. Maybe we'll go stay in an A-frame soon. That would be really cool. If you want me to go explore other tiny living opportunities, make sure to tell me down below. And have you ever stayed in an Airstream or are you interested in staying in one? Let me know. All right, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.